What is that? Spoiler alert! There's a crucial question regarding the Acolyte's new Sith to be posed. This new Dark Side user was revealed in the Acolyte Episode 5, where it was also hinted that he is not your typical Sith Lord. The person who trained him, though, is probably going to be just as significant. May's master is revealed to be the traitor she knew as Kamir in Episode 5 of the Acolyte. This Sith without a name, who is simply known as the Stranger in Marketing. You really didn't know it was me. <laughs> is most likely not a Sith at all but rather a nearby dark side practitioner, which explains his remarks that only the Jedi might be able to label him Sith. In any case, a few allusions to the power at his command in the Acolyte Episode 5 might provide some insight into May's master's origins and identify the person who may have taught Kamir. Your master wants what you What kind of deal to... did you make with him? Welcome to Movie Spy. Episode 5 of Acolyte verifies Kamir's sharing of Mother Anasia's power. My mother could do that. When Yurt tries to get May's twin sister Osha to safety in the Acolyte Episode 5, the Jedi Knight verifies that Kamir can enter the minds of the Jedi. Yurt claims that he gets inside your head, and he stays there. In light of this, Osha affirms that her mother, a witch coven member on Brendok, could have accomplished this, as seen by the flashbacks to her in May's early years in the Acolyte Episode 3. Torben, master in Dara's Padawan at the time, was somehow taken over by Mother Anasia when the Jedi I found May and Osha as young children under the care of this witch coven. Anasia first threatened to put Tobin back in his right mind if the Jedi didn't leave, but she eventually gave in since Osha wanted to put the Jedi to the test. Osha's eyes went black as he fell to his knees. Consequently, it would appear that Kamir possesses the same skill. While Anasia was seen to be fully possessing a Jedi during their duel, Kamir most likely at least has the ability to mentally attack his opponents during combat. This would explain how, in the Acolyte Episode 5, he was able to kill seven Jedi by himself. Only May, Osha, and Master Soul were still alive at the end of the episode. Who trained the stranger Kamir? It looks like Mother Anasia or Kirill. Considering this common capability, it begs the question of who may have trained Kamir. In Star Wars mythology, the Sith have frequently employed the dark side to control and pervert people's minds. This is true both in the canon and in legends. But Osha's link between her mother and Kamir in relation to this particular form of mind control cannot be coincidental. The possibility that Mother Anasia survived Brendok's which coven's destruction, which hasn't been fully explored in the Acolyte since its sixth episode, is undoubtedly being hinted at. If so, Anasia might have been the one to instruct Kamir in the ways of the evil side, and Kamir then might have been the one to teach May to be his new Acolyte. Given that Mother Kirill was the mother of May and Osha and carried them while Anasia was made fun of for using the Force to affect their conception, it is also plausible that she is Kamir's mentor. Is Osha's future doomed to be a new Acolyte because of Kamir's dark side power? In any case, May disguising herself as Osha to depart with Master Soul marked the conclusion of the Acolyte Episode 5. In contrast, Osha was recovered by Kamir after being left asleep on Kofar. Kamir might try to turn Osha into his new acolyte once she uses the Force to heal her wounds, but she would probably object to this. But as the Acolyte approaches its climactic episodes, it's not difficult to envision a scene in which Kamir's power corrupts Osha's mind, turning her into his puppet until he can fully turn her over to the dark side. 